Earth. Our home. Dominated by the most convoluted creature in the animal kingdom. Yet none more fascinating than those who answer the call for military service. With little sense of purpose in their life, these creatures will find inspiration to protect and defend their own from themselves, their own selves. When we consider life of military service, it has given breath and taken away life for so many on this planet. We often do not take the time to honor these creatures that protect our world. Join us as we embark on a journey of planet service. Although the Earth is mostly water, American forces have chosen to fight on one-fifth of the land on Earth. Desert. Seemingly devoid of any intelligent life, deserts are of most crucial importance to our nation. Despite the extreme hatred of these harsh environments, the Marines have learned to thrive. Even establishing a base in a place of almost unimaginable emptiness with temperatures reaching up to 50 degrees Celsius. These barracks appear to be lifeless, but surprisingly, none are. As the desert encroaches within these halls, the Marines have found clever ways to adapt. Standing by, with not in training or combat, the Marines spend most of their time doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. They stand by to stand by. A boot. He comes to his senior's aid without hesitation. It's Friday night, and the Marines are thirsty. Jack Daniels is the preferred beverage of the Marine. But payday isn't for another week. Pops Blue Ribbon will have to do. Although this Marine is still on duty, ingesting an alcoholic beverage will help him cope with having duty on a Friday night. It's a risk he's willing to take. He's nervous. And with good reason. An officer watches from a distance. Complacent Marines are his preferred prey. He approaches quietly. Good evening, sir. Go. Go. Okay. They activate their fight or flight response. And this Marine has sounded the alarm for the rest of the pack. An unsuccessful hunt. Each failed attempt puts other Marines at risk. In this desert, everyone is in danger. Focused on nothing but war and killing, Marines hone their skills and clean their rifles with extreme detail. A walk. The Marines are powerless to her presence. They begin their mating call ritual to establish dominance. How are you, Washington? 
Nice to meet you. You are? Oh, it's good to see you. I haven't seen you around. <laughs> Just, uh... To remain incognito, the officer lurks in the no-cover, no-salute biome. An unattended rifle is the perfect excuse for an ass-chewing. Whose weapon is this? A flock of blue falcons sacrifice one of their own. Oh, I just... oh, hey! Really? Huh? Oh, Where's sorry. the weapon? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I... uh, 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 it's uh, bucket over there, isn't it? Uh, yes, sir. Huh? Yeah, sorry. Uh, cleaning your weapon, huh? Clean uh, your weapon. Now you're fucking thirsty? Well, fuck The Marine is an embarrassment to himself and his squad. Sorry, I'll talk to you later. Maybe. Okay. The Wook records everything. It will make quality content to post in Drink and Rouge. From dawn to setting sun, the Marines pride themselves as being amphibious warriors, capable of fighting in any clime and place. Oh, Jesus, sir, Jesus, goddamn, this strong, sir, please, wait, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing, sir? I don't, oh, oh, oh. However, true amphibious warriors of this planet are the hardest to find. While the frogman seeks his next book deal, the rest of the species sleeps soundly on the open seas. Or do they? With no port visit in sight, the sailors struggle to maintain their sanity. Sleep is the furthest thing from their minds. Hey, I'm running dry. But one male has gotten lucky. He snagged himself a boat home. Oh, fuck yeah. Four months out to sea and with little contact with the vagina, Wait, the mating process will not last long. This sailor is rudely awakened from his slumber by the call of his superior. He appears to have hit his head, earning himself the dreaded mark of shame. The senior male in the birthing has had enough. Yo, you fucking semen, I'm trying to get some fucking sleep. Keep it down, fuckers, you shit. Jesus. Elsewhere on the boat, a naval officer faces his own struggles with sleep. He ponders about whether he should order the filet mignon or lobster tail during tomorrow's evening hours. A difficult choice. The filet it is. As it is a different kind of tail this officer seeks. He loved nothing more than to stay in bed, but he must prepare for another day of harassing the enlisted. Can I take your laundry, sir? Indeed. The enlisted must be careful. It could be a penis flytrap of the homosexual variety. One wrong move could change the enlisted sexual preference forever. Finally, the day arrives. The sailors return from a grueling deployment, having earned their swallows in the title of shellback. Their marathon migration has left them starving and exhausted. They return to their traditional breeding grounds. Land ho. Ho's indeed. The sailors all look forward to the impending alcohol-fueled mating season. As soon as they arrive back on land, they must take a claim to a nesting patch. Some choose to seek a nesting patch at the local strip clubs and massage parlors. Others instinctively return to the same nesting patch. But some find that it is not the same as they left it. Others return forever changed, forged by the sea. The depended den is common to these dwellings across the land. This depender incubates in her cocoon. When food becomes suddenly plentiful, she devours everything in her path. She has now pupated into a full-blown triceratops. Hey, guess who's back from Afghanistan? Look, Daddy's home. Is that not Daddy? Daddy's in the bedroom.
a daring escape. The young soldier has managed to cheat certain death as he flees the nest. Afghanistan is a much safer environment for Jody. Much like the Marines in 29 Palms, these soldiers have adapted to the harsh conditions. They use science to cool down their water to room temperature when refrigeration is not an option. They'll need it for their next op, as dehydration is a silent killer of the dunes. They've been outside the wire for days. They've taken contact casualties and are low on fluids. Portable water is a delicacy in this environment, as resupply is scarce. The Cav Scouts. Often mistaken for infantry, they actually just have really cool hats. The ultimate peacock of the front lines. With more confirmed kills than any Cav Scout, we have a drone operator. The airman concentrates. Weeks of training with the gunship kill streak from Call of Duty Black Ops 4, using the concept perk, of course, has paid off. It's been a long day of bloodshed. The airman reflects on all of the people he's killed half a world away. An IED maker and his family are no more. He takes satisfaction in knowing that he's saved troops on the ground. A good night for fornication. It is made. He must acquire tampons prior to their evening rendezvous. The bar. It's a scene where professional veterans gloat about their service in an attempt to be the dominant civilian. It's nothing more than a dick measuring contest as they compete for the trashiest of bartenders. The Coast Guard veteran does not participate. He knows his dick is biggest. He's jumped out of helicopters rescuing drowning civilians. He's secured mountains of cocaine, taken down drug lords at sea, hijacked submarines from a moving boat. I mean, Jesus, that's pretty fucking badass. The true quiet professional. Thank you for your service. You're welcome. Take care.
Je meurs! 